I think probably the best uh, the best reason for students to choose the visual arts for the EE is you know if they're passionate about the visual arts, then it's going to be a lot easier to basically engage in the in the writing process, the research, um, and come up with a, a topic or a research question that's really personally relevant and motivating to them. I think that's that's one of the biggest issues that I've seen in the past is that, you know, students kind of choose a topic that maybe they're not so excited about um, and then they flounder in the end. But you know, I'm here to guide students in that direction for a, a strong research question that keeps them engaged in the entire process till the end. They get confused sometimes when in the visual arts and for the IB, one of the components is the comparative study. And the comparative study is, is more about art analysis, whereas the extended essay is a research paper. Um, it is a more formal piece of writing than the comparative study. Um, it's definitely harder work, uh, but through already researching artists and analyzing artwork with the comparative study, it prepares students for um, what's expected for research in the EE. And also just writing about art and having a, a broader vocabulary of art when uh, when writing. Number one question is what can I what what can I write about? Mm. What's the topic? And the topic can be and obviously has to be about the visual arts. Um, address an issue in the video in the in the visual arts. Um, it can start broad, and then students through their research can pinpoint um, a topic and then an actual research question that can guide them in their research. Um, I think that you, know, you can write for anything from the fine arts to the applied arts to art history, and I, th I think a really important topic now is visual culture um, and understanding you know, what we're looking at every single day on our phones. Um, social media so that you can address topics throughout art history from contemporary modern to all the way back to the Renaissance so it's very broad but here to help you pinpoint it down be aware that the amount of time um, that's needed to really develop a strong research question and come up with a really really focused research question um, that you can find enough resources uh, and able to really dive deep into the research and find relevant information um, because that's the biggest issue I've seen is students just not finding enough information on especially visual artists um, finding really good primary sources